This is Smiley, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna learn how to get this look. This is really easy and it's super duper wearable. So to know how to get this look, please keep on watching the video. So we're first starting off with our primer, which is the Nivea Man Sensitive Aftershave Balm. It's a really great primer, although it was not meant to be so. It's really cheap and it's gonna really work amazing on your skin and save you some bucks as well. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up my Fit Me foundation from Maybelline. It's in the shade 310 Sun Beige. And I'm gonna pick up my blender, which is from the company called Bonito. And I'm gonna use it for my foundation. And currently, I've run out of foundation, so it's not pouring out out of the bottle. I need new foundation. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dab that all over my face, just like that. And also over that pimple right there, which is so annoying, really. Just go ahead, keep doing that unless you get the amount of coverage that you want. And once you're done, go ahead and pick up your concealer. I'm using the Fit Me concealer in the shade 20 Sand. It's a really great concealer, comes with a doe fit applicator just like that and gives a nice coverage. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on any dark spots or scars, which I just don't want on my face presently. <laughs> and also blend that out with the help of that sponge from Bonito. It's a really good sponge to be honest with you. It's really a dupe of the original Beauty Blender. Then I'm gonna go ahead and pick up my Johnson's Baby Powder. I know this is crazy, but this works amazing as a translucent powder for baking, so you don't really need to spend a lot of money on some translucent powder out there. So just go ahead, get this one if you can, and use it for baking, especially if you've got oily skin just like me. <laughs> We're gonna leave this powder on until we're done with most of our makeup and then sort of just wipe it off our face to get a really nice flawless finish. Then we're gonna go ahead and use the color bar uh, eyebrow pencil in the shade chestnut which comes with a spoolie just like that and right now I have dog hair so I'm just gonna go ahead and remove that. <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, brush my eyebrow hair upwards just like that to sort of prep it for the upcoming brow product that I'm gonna use. Then I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Kit in Ash Brown and use the middle shade and also the brush that it comes with. It's so cute and it's small but it's okay. So I'm just gonna fill up any sparse areas or where there's no hair just to give it an even look just like that and I'm gonna do an up close so you guys can see what I'm doing then I'm using this pack triple two brush which is an angled eyeliner brush really thin and really uh, great for doing your brows and I'm gonna pick up the dark brown shade from the wet n wild kit and use it on the tail and places that I really want it to be um, dark. So it's totally up to you how you want to do your brows. A really cool trick is to go on brushing your hair upwards as you keep applying product onto your brows. So just it's really even and um, nice looking. <laughs> Then I'm gonna 
go ahead and use a gel liner which is brown in color and this one came in a combo of two from a company called Music Flower, the link to which will be given on the description box below and I use it as a brow pomade because I don't own a pomade and this works just as fine you guys. Seriously just go ahead get some brown gel liner and it'll just do the work. Next we're gonna go ahead and uh, apply eyeshadow and for that I'm using this palette and I'm gonna use this palette only for the rest of the video. This is the Makeup Revolution um, palette which is the Iconic Pro 3 something like that. But before that we're gonna apply concealer on our lids and blend that out with the help of the sponge to create a nice base for the eyeshadow. Then we're gonna go ahead and set the concealer with this Fit Me pressed powder, pressed powder, pressed what? Pressed powder in the shade 310 Sun Beige with the help of the Real Techniques setting brush, just on one side, just like that. Because later we're gonna use the same brush for highlighter as well. So it's just like my multi-purpose tool. I really love this brush. <laughs> Then we're going to use a pack 028 which is a fluffy blending brush um, and it looks like that. It's dirty right now because I forgot to clean it but anyway we're going to use that and I'm mixing those two shades as it was shown um, just like that for our first transition shade. Just use a really light hand to distribute the color across the crease and create a nice um, gradient effect if I may say so for the rest of the eyeshadow that you're gonna do. Then I'm gonna use a pack 033 which is like just a flat blending brush kind of a thing just to diffuse the harsh lines if any and yeah. Then we're gonna move ahead and use that brown shade right there with a pack 391 which is a smaller blending brush than the other one and we're gonna put that on the outer V just like that and diffuse it into the crease to create a nice gradient effect. Then we're gonna go ahead and use the same 033 brush that we used earlier to diffuse any harsh lines. Then we're gonna go ahead and pick up a pack 209 which is an even smaller blending brush and use that dark brown shade right there to pack it on the outer V and diffuse it into the crease. So you get this really beautiful gradient that we're looking for. Then again the same 033 brush to diffuse the harsh lines. Then we're gonna go ahead and pick up that shimmer right there on our finger and pack it onto the lid. Um, it's just like the space uh, between your lid and your inner corner. So just go ahead, do that as much as you want, as much intensity you want. Then we're gonna go ahead and pick up any of those two brushes. I picked up the first to sort of diffuse the shimmer with the other colors. Then I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this brush which came with that Music Flower combo and I'm using the Wet n Wild H2 Proof Liquid Liner uh, to draw a wing. This brush is really convenient to do so because it's really thin and yeah, I love it. Then I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this pack 245 brush to remove any of that excess baking powder that's there on the face, just like that. And then I'm gonna use the Maybelline Hyper Curl Volume Express Waterproof Mascara on the upper lashes, just like that. And then I'm gonna use this brush from Color Bar USA. This is a smudger brush apparently, um, and I'm gonna go ahead and pick up that brown color from the palette and put that on the lower lash line just like that. Then I'm gonna use my Maybelline Colossal Cudgel in super black and put that on the lower lash line as well. Then I'm gonna go ahead and smudge that out as well with that same brush and apply some mascara on the lower lashes. 
Then I'm gonna go ahead and use the Real Techniques blush brush and use the Sugar Contour D Force Mini Bronzer in O2 um, Woody Wonder on the sides of my face to just sort of warm up the face a bit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use the Manizer Sisters from the Balm and use Mary Lou on the high points of my cheeks with that setting brush as I'd mentioned earlier. A bit on the nose, a bit on the forehead and a bit on the chin. Then I'm gonna go ahead and use the Color Show blush from Maybelline in the shade Fresh Coral and take it on my finger and put it on the cheeks just like that. Then I'm gonna go ahead and use Mary Lou once again on a brush like that. It came in a set of brushes, the link to which will be in the description box below again. And I'm gonna put that on the corner or rather the end of the brow to just sort of lift it up a bit. And then I'm gonna use that small brush right there to put some on the inner corners as well. Then I'm using the Faces Lip Contour Pencil in Blush On and I'm just gonna sort of line my lips for uh, the upcoming lipstick that I'm gonna use. Well, it sounds like a trailer, the upcoming lipstick. <laughs> then I'm gonna go ahead and use the Nykaa So Matte Lipstick in Top Thrill. I got this as a free gift and it smells heavenly. I'm gonna put that all over my lips just like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use the Essence Triple XL Nude Lip Gloss in the shade 03 Taste the Sweets. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that all over my lip just like that. To th then I'm gonna go ahead and use the MAC Prep Plus Prime Fix Plus in Original and spritz that all over my face and let that sit for about a minute and you're good to go. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up and if you'd like to see more of my videos in the future, then go ahead, subscribe to my channel down below and also hit that notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. If there are any looks that you'd like me to do in the future, then go ahead, write them down in the comment section below and I'll be sure to check them out. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!